hello guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna go ahead and start working with the like function in instagram clone so what we're gonna do is very simple we're gonna go ahead and configure a feature that would allow us like posts um based on the user that's logged in so unauthenticated users can't like a post only authenticated users can like a post and we're gonna implement all this function right now so let's go ahead and get started firstly you want to open up a code editor app using sublime text then you want to open up comment prompt if your server isn't running any longer then you want to go ahead and run your server again so I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and run my server again so Python manage.py is gonna help you run your server Python manage.py run server then when the server is running on port 8000 you want to open up a new web browser and we're gonna hop over to port 8000 and I think we need to come over to slash post just like this um okay it says anonymous user object is intruable so what we need to do is quite easy we just need to um come over to instagram clone so we're gonna come over to, sorry sorry we, ne we need to hop over to the admin page so we need to say for 8000 slash admin just like this and we need to log in as um destiny and the password is testing three to one just like that okay and now we are logged in so if we refresh this now it's gonna work perfectly well okay so with this now we're gonna configure this button over here to actually like post now if we click on it nothing is working that's because we don't have um the functionality yet so let's head back to our code editor and we're gonna open up the post app that we created earlier you can remember i'm just gonna um let me just minimize all this so i'm gonna open up the post and i'm gonna open up the models.py so in the class like you remember we have um a, okay i think we don't have a class like yet so we're just gonna go ahead and create it right now so we're simply gonna say um class then we're gonna call it um let's just call it likes okay then it's gonna inherit from models.model as usual not model form okay so after this now we need to um define a user that would be liking this um that, that will be liking the post so if you know how all this works already you are supposed to know this is going to be user is equal to models dot foreign key then we're going to pass in the the user model this one over here this one then we're going to pass in on the leads models dot cascade you already know what all this does if you don't know this is simply going to delete um this is simply going to delete the like when a you um when a user is deleted for example let's say i liked this post then um instagram kicked me out of the their platform then my like is gonna disappear so that's what this is gonna do over here then related name let's just add like yeah whatever or let's just say user like so we won't get this mixed up because we still need to create a post that we're gonna you give post like so okay this is gonna be post and the foreign key is gonna be post just like that and this is gonna be post likes okay so hopefully you understand what's going on now this is just what we need a user is gonna like a post a, a logged in user destiny is gonna like a post called beautiful pumpkin hopefully you understand okay so with this now let's let's get back to our views.py and make the functionality here work so we need to define a new function and we're gonna call that one like it's gonna take in a request and it's all it's also need to take in post id so i told you guys all well, post id tax log and all this does in the last one so why is this like function taken in post id that's because we want to identify that this post over here is what we want to like so if you're asking for the post id let me see i think my server is down i need to pass over here then run my server again come on boy okay so so right now this is the id over here so what this id is going to simply help us do is recognize that this is a particular post that we're about to like hopefully you understand what i'm saying yeah i explained it in the other videos perfectly well we should have a, a, a like a glimpse of what it does by, by now okay so we can head back to our code now we're gonna get rid of the pass and we are simply gonna define a user variable that's gonna get the the logged in user you can do this any any way you want you can directly call in the request.user on wherever you want to use it or you can assign it to a variable and use the user variable wherever you want to use it don't worry i know this might be a lot to take in but i'm still gonna break things down so we need to get um um, a, a particular post so we're gonna say post the objects dot get I want to get this post by the ID now it's called post ID so we are trying to get a particular post just like this or just like uh, I don't know why is myself slowing down today 
Huh, yeah, let me just break out from the from this place and I'm gonna run it again. Okay, let's refresh this. It's working now. So we, we want to get either this post or this one or any other post. So that's why we are doing this. Okay, so when you want to configure a function that's gonna allow users save profile, save post, or like post, or comment on a post, it's the same method that you're gonna use over here to get the particular post you want to interact with. Okay, so after this now, the next thing we're gonna do um for for the like function is simply go ahead and get current likes so current like is gonna be post the likes so let me just go ahead and do that current underscore likes should be equal to post dot likes okay let me explain what this is gonna do now in the models dot py um, over here you see the posts class over here has this um, line called likes okay so a post like this has a, a part where it's gonna have likes like this that's why post has this like so what we're simply doing now in the views.py is this we got a particular post now we define a variable current like you can name this whatever you want then we are assigning post over here dot likes hopefully you understand the likes that's in this post um this post model that we created over here that's what we are assigning this post dot likes to then we're gonna use this to do something Huh? Hopefully you understand. So now we need to say liked should be equals to, okay, let me make sure that I'm importing like over here. Let me say I'm um, importing like. So we need to say, um, actually, let me check if my video is still recording. Because I've actually recorded like a two hours video before and I was just talking to myself. That was really, really annoying. Okay. So we need to say likes dot objects dot. This time around, we're going to use filter okay that's filter so one of filter user by user i'm going to explain this i want to filter post by post okay then we want to count the likes so that we can be able to display how many people liked it over there so we're going to say dot count okay now what's the next thing we're supposed to do okay let me explain what this does first so we you remember i explained what this does already then when we define the variable like and we got the like model we filtered the model by a user and the posts so user over here is what we have here this one over here then this user over here is this one that we have over here take note if you don't want to use you can simply say a request dot user so um this post now that a user is about to like is going to be liked by the logged in user okay so this user over here is equal to this that means the the user that's going to be liking the post is going to be the logged in user but instead of doing it the, the long way let's just pass in the variable user that we have already that i created out here then post is going to be equal to post remember we got this post thing over here already then that's why we are assigning post to post okay so after this now we need to check if a post is not liked so if not liked hopefully you understand then what do we want to do want to go ahead and and create a like object so we're gonna say likes dot object dot create just like this so if a post is not liked and the user is clicking on the like button or going to the right like view url then we want to simply create a new instance of like for the post so we're exactly gonna do the same thing and now we need to increment current likes by one so we're gonna say current likes should be equal to current likes plus one Hopefully you understand. So when I click on this button, it's going to check if the post is liked or not liked already. So if the post is not liked, it's simply going to increment this like by one. That's what we did over here. Okay. Now, how about if the post is liked and we are also trying to go to the like post again, like to the like view. How about this post is liked, one like, and we are still clicking on this. Now, what do we want to do? We simply want to go ahead and delete. Hopefully you understand. Okay, so what we want to do is simply do the same thing over here that we did. I'm going to copy and paste it down there. But this time around, it's going to be likes.object.filter, no longer create. So it's, it's going to check if the user is equal to user and the post is equal to post. So if, if this over here that we check exists, then we're simply going to delete just like this. So when we delete now, we, we just need to do the same thing that we did. Current likes should be equal to current like. Now, can you guess what we are about to do right now? Over here, if a post is not liked, we incremented the like by one. How about if a post is like now, what do we want to do? Now we want to remove one from it. Okay. Yeah, you guessed the right. Or maybe you didn't. Okay. So what we need to now do is um, simply come over here again and we're going to say post dot likes 
should be equal to current likes okay now what does this mean in the model we have this um this liked line over here so what we are simply doing over here now is saying post the likes this post over here should be assigned to the current like so if the current like is one or two then we are assigning the the post dot likes to the current like that that's simply what we're doing it's quite easy then finally we just want to go ahead and save it to the database so we will keep track of the likes that we're getting then let, let's just return a http response we don't need to return any template or whatever so i'm i'm gonna say from django.http the HTTP, we want to import uh, a HTTP res response. Um, let's just use a HTTP response redirect. Redirect, okay? I hope this is correct. HTTP response redirect. Okay, yeah, response redirect. Yeah, it's correct, okay? So what we need to do now is simply come over here and we need to return HTTP response redirect and we also need to import reverse. So we're going to say from Django.URL, we want to import reverse just like that. And over here, we're simply going to reverse to, um, we're going to actually reverse to the post detail, you know, right? Yeah, that, that would be cool. So when a user like a post, then we automatically want to take them to the detail of a post. Maybe they can now drop a comment in there. That's simply what, what we want to do. Okay, so reverse, then we're going to pass in the post details name, URL name. Remember, then we need to pass in args should be equal to post underscore ID. Ags should be equal to post ID, just like that. Okay, so with this now, I think we are pretty much done. Let's just go ahead and create a URL for it. So in the URL parts, we're simply going to say parts and this should go to, um, okay, let's just say, it should go to mm, okay let's add in a uuid for it so we're gonna say uuid should go to post id then slash like so we don't get things mixed up okay so when we've done this now remember it was called like it was called views dot like or is it likes let's see okay it's like rather so views dot like and we're gonna pass in a name so this name is simply gonna be, let's just say post dash like, okay? Or rather, let's just say like instead, okay? So with this now, um, we simply need to come over here and configure this button. So we're gonna head over to the view and, sorry, we're gonna head over to the index.html and we're gonna locate the like button. Um, let's, let's find the like button. Okay, it's, it's gonna be quite difficult to find a like button like this. So I'm just gonna in inspect it and see what we've got for ourselves. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just go with the post buttons. I'm gonna add in the post button. Now we have one, two, three. So definitely it might be this one. So I'm simply gonna comment this out and refresh and i don't know what's wrong with my my terminal i think i have an error somewhere in the urls.py we need to add a comma over here okay then this should be working perfectly fine now okay yeah that's it so we need to configure this button let's refresh we you remember we commented something out over here i don't think that's it this is post footer okay for post in post after the image then we have the like buttons now this post the username this is this actually let's see if it should be this class i'm gonna get rid of it oh, oh, oh i mean the detail oh man i mean detail page that's why i i i didn't see any change taking place yeah that definitely it so let's call this out and see if we have the right end oh man my server is just so so down today okay yeah as you can see it's 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 it so we need to put that back in there now we need to change this button tag to a, a tag because it's going to be a link href and in here we need to pass in the url so url the name of the url is like and we need to pass in post.id just like that okay now yeah i think that should be it then let's see 
if we get an error then we'll go ahead and fix it okay so now we'll click on this like it says no table post like okay we need to migrate and make migration so we need to say make migration by the way make migrations and finally we need to migrate okay now we need to run our server again and we need to refresh oh yeah what do you notice it's working so as you can see we have one like over there now i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna try like another post that hasn't been liked before so you see what i'm talking about um don't worry after this video i'm simply gonna clear my browser cookie so my server is gonna run perfectly well again for the next tutorials okay so when i refresh this now you see one like this one over here has two of like this one over here has 10 likes yeah this one has zero like so i'm gonna go ahead and click on the like button take notice it has zero like now when i click on the like button what do you notice it will take us to the um i think it's take us to the to the detail page yeah then it's gonna show one like but yeah my server is just slowing down for no reason i don't know i'm gonna fix that later so what do you notice as you can see now we have one like over here so we are simply gonna do something easy it's quite easy when a user like the post then we can change this to red or if it's not like then we'll leave it as white maybe we'll do that in the upcoming videos but now hopefully you get the idea of liking and unliking posts how about want to unlike this post click on it again now let's get back here, refresh this page and click on this again. Okay, what do you notice? It's working perfectly well. It's on likes and likes the post. Yeah, so that should be it for this video. Hopefully you guys understood how to work with like and unlike function in Django. Now, if there is something I skipped, I didn't explain, just drop a comment in the comment section below. I'm gonna do well to explain it. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. For now, drop a like, consider subscribing and also drop a comment if you have an issue. I'll be more than pleased and glad to help you solve your issues. In the meantime, mad love, peace out.